Hey everybody, it's Party Elite. Welcome you back to another episode of our Total War Three Kingdoms Eight Princes Let's Play as Suma Wei. This will be another solid episode, I think, as we make our way down from Runan through the river to uh, Bian Bing and Huang Xin's territories because they would dare to declare war on Tzu Cheng, my vassal, so I must punish them. One might say I will be taking the waterway. Down this way. All right, sorry. I, I, I couldn't resist. Apart from that, we're also going to be colonizing the uh, farmland up over here at Anding using uh, Guan Yuxian. We've got a fair bit of money, but fortunately, I kind of moved her last turn. I don't think we're able to... Yeah, nope. Got to wait until next turn. It's okay. It's okay. I have that much patience. So we got to make sure we don't spend money on anything. And unfortunately, right now, a couple of things are uh, working as some downers. We have Suma Wei, who has been wounded because of a would-be assassin. And not only that, but he is actually maimed. Just wanted to remind you guys that this has happened right at the beginning of our campaign. Uh, and uh, apart from that, we also have uh, the satisfaction issues right now, uh, which is going to affect us a little poorly for the next little bit. We might want to sacrifice some of our fury to uh, provide some gifts to those who are, you know, less satisfied. Uh, Guan Yushan over here, pretty low there, um, and Qi Yu also pretty low. Both of them require or desire rather higher court positions, but I have none to give. So perhaps we'll give them gifts if things get worse. For now, though, I do believe I have, yes, I've got the uh, clay fish I can perhaps provide to Guan Yushan. Or is there uh, anybody else who might, mm, you've already got your, uh, your wooden dogs. Fine. Guan Yushan, let's go ahead and give you the clay fish. And we've got, oh, hello, we've got the clay ox as well, which we could maybe give to uh, T. Seng, looks kind of upset as well. They're all kind of really upset, actually. Uh, so my Yang is also, maybe let's go ahead and give you the uh, clay ox. My god, he's handing out these uh, these gifts for, for no real good reason. I mean, I guess keeping people happy is a good reason. Ha! Ah. Anyway, um, yeah, we might have to hand out some gifts. We might need to reduce and, and lose our fury, but uh, it's okay. We can we can we can work with that. Just want to mention really quickly that uh, what well, I just like to thank everybody who's been watching along so far and has been uh, leaving your likes and comments down below. It really does make a very big difference in the kind of content I approach on the channel. Uh, it influences the decisions I make in terms of what to do more or less of. And I, I have an absolutely fantastic time reading through the comments. A lot of the times you've got suggestions for me. I like to treat uh, you guys as sort of the counsel for these campaigns. So, you know, upon your requests and your suggestions, I'm heading towards this general direction to get the horse pastures and whatnot that uh, lay uh, over here beyond this, you know, mountain path, I suppose. Uh, and apart from that, there are always some really awesome stories that are told in the comments, which I really love uh, reading through as well. So uh, re really cool to see some of that stuff happening again. Uh, so thank you very much for that. Just wanted to uh, mention my appreciation. And with all that said, let's go ahead and uh, head on over to the next turn. Actually, no, that's a lie. We're not about to head on over to the next turn. What we're about to do is... Uh, have a little chat with Sir Mamo. See, I'm not a fan of border gore. I don't like having two of my uh, holdings separated by someone else's holdings. And uh, since I am uh, reckless, I don't think it's a far cry to have this conversation right now. No reason to let them have their land still. They've served us for long enough. Um, and we've already got another vassal down over here who will probably be made a little upset by this action. But you know what? We're helping them in a couple of wars. They'll be fine. We are currently respected. And that's certainly going to drop. But uh, what does Surma Wei care for that? Let's go ahead and issue this declaration. Surma Mo will be uh, handing their land over to us. Will be untrustworthy for a little bit of, a little bit of time. Just a little bit of time. But I'd be a fool not to take this. Fate has cooled our passions, left us frozen. That's your fault. Should have maintained fury like I do. Faction confederated. That's a polite way to put it. Soma Wei and Soma Mo. These two factions have become one. Deployed generals and family members have remained in this new faction, while others have left to seek their fortune elsewhere. Good stuff. Uh, yep, we've annexed our vassal, etc., etc. Let's go ahead and I think... Why are you so dissatisfied? Come on now. Wow, he's just going to straight up leave. Faction grudge, he's really upset at us. Fair enough. If that's how you feel, then uh, that's how you'll be treated. Go ahead and take all of his, uh, you know, various items that... 
just want to completely like take all of his stuff give him give him some garbage instead but it's okay and how about you are are you uh also upset you also have a grudge he seems okay yeah he seems fine good good how about you all right so let's go ahead and recall this entire army we don't need to uh keep it out on the field I want to make sure. Yeah, she's happy. So let's bring them back in so we're not spending this much money out there. And if Buddy wants to leave, he can leave. I don't quite care. So let's go ahead and... Oh, I do like... Too bad those cataphracts will leave with him. Well, what are you going to do? We don't need this army out on the field right now. I hope not. I hope we don't get <laughs> into trouble. There we go. Financial problem solved, and with a new jade mine under our control and another town as well, uh, we're making a little bit of money as well. Solving problems, just like that. Solving problems. Over here, uh, we are going to wait a turn as we heal from this wound and as we replenish. Uh, once we're done, I think one turn of replenishment, maybe two if I'm feeling patient. Uh, we'll again head down maybe through uh, Surma Mao's land uh, into the river and down towards Bianbing and Huangxin. Right. Let's not spend any money. I want to keep it saved for that colonization effort. I can see if anything is going to... No. Nothing's going to cost just, you know, 200 or 500. Yeah, no. That's the turn, folks. Ooh. Got a skill point available. A couple of you have some skill points available, it seems. Defection imminent. Really? What? I thought, uh, I thought she was satisfied. Oh, well. Hey, if you want to leave, you can leave too. You don't really have anything. Uh, no. Don't, don't want you to have either of these. Here. Take that. Take that as you leave. Keep these behind. I have no time for, uh... For these pitiful commanders. Probably gonna, probably gonna lose them next turn. <laughs> I'm guessing these are, uh... Okay, we're, we're losing some relationships. Important events have led us to increasingly dislike one another. I'm guessing that has to do... With the annexation here. But this rivalry has come to an end. Okay, fair enough. Let's see if everybody declares war on us because of our uh, annexation over here. I wouldn't be surprised, knowing my luck. It looks like we're fine. Okay, <laughs> good stuff. Good stuff. So Ma Ying signed a peace treaty with Sir Ma Di. Okay. Uh, noble birth. Sir Ma Zhu has been born to Sir Ma Yin and Sir Ma Xiangting. I'm going to get really tired of the word Sir Ma by the end of this campaign. Uh, joyous occasion. A son has been born. New blood keeps the line strong, but may also give rise to jealousy if other siblings feel their own position is threatened. Fair enough. Yep, Sir Ma Mo has left. And Tang Baohui has left as well. Oh no, they took their baby with them. This general is no longer content with their lot and has left your employ in the hope of finding greater satisfaction elsewhere. Alas, such a great general has been lost. Ah, uh, <laughs> a friendship forming. Let's see. Okay, so lots of events. Uh, when the battle is done, it is heartening to know that there are friends awaiting us, to laugh and tease and make the battle a distant memory. Such a bond is formed between two of your soldiers, and it is heartening to see this companionship enduring and growing over time. Good stuff. Uh, yeah, it's a little unfortunate that we've lost a couple of friends, but we've made new friends along the way. It's all about having that perfect balance. Let's go ahead and make our moves, shall we? I wonder if we rush. Let's just simply move. I uh, want to make it down to this river, right? It's going to take a long time for us to get down over here. Ten turns if we, you know, go through on land. It might actually be... The equivalent amount of time through the river as well. I think it'll be fine. I wonder if we can negotiate military access. They would want a lot of money. Not willing to give that up. Um, I could give them some stuff. I, I'm just wondering if I can avoid upsetting anybody. No, I'd rather do that. I would rather do that. Go ahead and give you both of my military instructors. And I could, I could use these for some satisfaction bumps. Close. Close. Okay, we'll deal with it when we get there, because we'll have more money when the time comes as well. So we're done over here, I think, replenishing. We can start moving. We're not going to rush. We're just going to march, because uh, I do want to replenish a little bit along the way. 
And then up over here, we want to get this territory. Go ahead and do that. Establish order. And uh, again, it'll take some time for that 4k to come back. And after it's back, we'll make our moves towards Suofang and the uh, horse pastures up here. Because it, it lo does look like Suma Dai over here is and colonizing some of the stuff. So we'll, we'll, we want to make sure we can beat them, beat them to the punch. Uh, all right, what else have we got going on over here? With just 662, there's not much we can do. So I believe we're going to hit end turn again and uh, see what the AI does over here. A little nervous. I'm a little spread thin, and I don't have the money to sustain another army. Uh, but uh, that was kind of the risk I knew I was taking with this campaign. Sort of being this aggressive and uh, expansionist. The Jin Empire has declared war on Suma Lun. Fair enough. And Suma Dai has been succeeded by Xiang Xiangli. Okay, fair enough. Oh no, coalitions are forming. Coalitions are forming, this is not good. The Empress demands retribution, part one. One of your more error-prone retainers has unintentionally offended the Empress. She now demands a formal groveling apology, yet your comrade insists they did nothing to warrant such a thing. You could apologize in their place or reject her demands. Oof. Just refuse. Compensate her. Mm. Lose money. Money that we don't really have. Apologize on their behalf. So either way, they'll be dissatisfied. The income from all sources does sound good, but you know what? Someone like Sir Mao Wei, I don't think an apology comes naturally to them. Even if it's the Empress, we refuse. The Empress cannot be allowed to extol such a cost from you. Her demand is denied. How dare she? I'm afraid of her, perhaps. Wrong. Very wrong. Okay, let's keep on moving down this way, I suppose. And then next turn, we can start rushing. We'll make a little bit of money. Maybe we can trade uh, access with Shumamo. I need to take a look at some options for my own coalitions. Everyone's a maybe. Here. Maybe I shouldn't have upset them just before I tried to uh, negotiate a... Coalition with them. They want Tangan. Are you kidding me right now? I worked hard for that. I threaten them with war instead. I could give them some things. Things I've obtained from elsewhere. This would be a powerful coalition. Do we keep that war axe and give you a couple of military instructors instead? That's not good enough. That's not good enough. Okay, we'll give you the War Axe. I'm okay with how much damage up and stuff we have. Now, this is a little bit in their favor. So, let's go ahead and maybe ask for a little bit of money. Okay. Or we just let it be in their favor. At least this will give me a strong coalition. Now, yes, we are going to betray them eventually. That goes without saying. But uh, this should be a powerful ally. Uh, they are overwhelming and i'm sure they're overwhelming compared to everybody else so might as well take a gamble and uh and join them rather than anybody else just to show them we mean well even if we didn't apologize my generosity yeah let's call it that this might actually drag me into a lot of wars because they're so spread out but uh hopefully that was a wise call countering enemy coalitions with one of my own down over here, someone's dissatisfied. Hitting me right now. Well, first of all, I need to take command again. Let's go ahead and take charge. You are happy enough. Okay, it's just it's just this guy here. Nothing we can give him to up his satisfaction, is there? Now, one thing we should do is give him this extra cunning, the extra ammo, and all that. I suppose we could send a gift to Shiju. Oh, not a bad idea. Lose a little bit of fury, but it's it's worth it. I don't want him to just run off. So over to the court and to Chirju. Sure. There's a little R sound at the end there. Present gift, reduce some fury. For the next ten turns, it's a huge bump to satisfaction. So fine. Worth it. And what about Yeah, I'm not surprised. You're also not satisfied. In fact, you're even worse off. Jeez. Come on, guy. Kinda rob me here. Ban Yushen. Present a gift to you. 
I don't want to give promotions because that's going to cost me money and I don't have money to just throw at people. Uh, not that reducing fury is helpful either, but at least it's not money. Ooh, we become Oath Sworn. Nice. Okay, that'll help us in battle. Now, Shema Mao, will you? <laughs> it's not going to work. Uh, give me military access. What do you want in return? I will not give you territory. I will literally just take your land instead. Let's see, you're right there. Small army. We'll wait until next turn, and if they don't grant us access, we'll... We'll grant ourselves access, let's put it that way. Go ahead and move you up north, I think, uh, just to get you towards those horse pastures before anybody else does. Even if we can't get it right away, we'll at least, uh, you know, position ourselves outside of it. And that's the turn. I, I hope that that was a good call up there with uh, with the Jin Empire. This is not good. A non-aggression pact with Du Yan. Where are you? I'll probably accept this just because fighting on multiple fronts. Okay, let's see. Du Yan is over there. They're not really a threat to me right now. Oh, hello. Excuse me. Jin Empire. Right. Of course. Yeah, they have all this. Right, 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 right. Right. So I really need to rush towards these horse pastures. Uh, anyway, sorry. Um, so Du Yan is not really a problem for me. The money is nice. Let's go ahead and try to negotiate this a little bit higher. If I'm fortunate, then the Din Empire will just take them out. Um, but 545 or uh, request regular payments. Get this up to like 100 or something. Oh yeah, there we go. 120, that's 1200. 25 perhaps. There we go. 1250, why not? What was that deal? No one will be upset by it. Yeah, hopefully our uh, untrustworthiness drops soon. This I do not like. This worries me a bit. We have to get down there ASAP. Yan Bing has been succeeded. Fair enough. Ooh, Buddhist selflessness. True enlightenment comes not only from inward focus, but also outward generosity and thoughtfulness towards others. A pure gift, given with pure intentions to a pure recipient, is the very essence of generosity. A new year begins a new opportunity to steer your people towards their destiny. I really like um, this uh, this line here. It just it's, it's, hits the right notes. Sparring partners. When taking a walk one afternoon, you come across two comrades sparring in a courtyard. You watch their fight with great interest. It is a dance, or it is as a dance. They move and flow around each other with strength and grace. You leave the encounter feeling truly energized. It's nice. Relationship deepening a bit more. I wish I could get events that increase satisfaction a bit. Also, I just noticed the music seems to be missing, so give me a quick second and a quick edit. I'm going to fix that problem. Yep, turns out my music setting was at 0%. Long story why, I'll explain later. Uh, for now, let's go ahead and get back to business over here. We'll talk to Sir Mamao, give him one last chance uh, to provide us with the military access we desire. They're asking for too much. Fair enough. Uh, we're not even going to, in that case, bother. We're not going to threaten them with war. We will simply declare it. Dangling will be ours. It's a nice livestock farm. Uh, it shouldn't be too much trouble for us. And we'll just, yeah, cut our way through. And what is this? Who does this belong to? Hopefully them as well. And then we can just kind of, you know, do a one-two punch. Cut right through. Issue this declaration. Sun Mao Mao won't like it, but too bad for them. War has been declared. Down we roll. And a decisive victory with low predicted casualties. I suppose we could just kind of delegate this. We don't really need to fight this open field battle as well. It'll be extremely easy. I mean, what I could do, actually, now that I think about it, it might be worth fighting just so that we minimize our losses so we don't have to waste any time sitting still and replenishing anymore. We'll try to demand their surrender. We are They're, they're definitely outmatched. Nope. Well, one thing to do dive on in. Well, what can I say? We just wanted a way through. They wouldn't give it to us, so now we have to take it. Uh, it shouldn't be too much of a struggle this battle. If we could see the enemy, it'd be a little bit easier, of course. So perhaps our cavalry will have to be sent forth to a scout. We've got the trebuchet, of course, that will be able to cause a fair bit of damage as soon as we can see the enemy. Go ahead and get our cav off to the side over here. Cav, including our, our commander, of course. And let's get you to join in on that fun. 
on you up like this. You guys grouped up. I imagine they're probably tucked away in the tree somewhere over here. A scouting force should be able to spot everything. Let's go ahead and get you guys uh, lined up right. So let's pull everything back first. Get, let's see. Spears. There we go. Oh, God. <laughs> Getting used to the new icons here. Gonna be, it's gonna take some, uh, some getting used to. Alright, there we go. Like, quick, quick clicking them. Gonna take some getting used to. You, 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 and you. There we go. Okay. I believe we're as far over as we can go. Fair enough. Boxed up should be fine. They're a pretty small army. Not too worried about that. Let's go ahead and get you up over here. Let's get you set up as well. Right over here. Again, I like to box up my archers because that way they rotate a bit more easily and smoothly. Get you set up like this. Get you set up like this. Again, I like my crossfire, of course. Get this all done like so. Okay. And, uh, yeah, you can stay there. We'll march them up through the trees. Hopefully they'll stay hidden from any enemy fire. And it'll be a good time. Double checking everything. Yeah, we're good. Let's begin. Don't even need to try. Go ahead and fire away. Focus fire for starters, and we'll spread the love afterwards. And we come. There it is. Nice. <laughs> Glad I moved the camera right at the end there, otherwise I would have missed it all. Uh, hmm. Yeah, they definitely changed the accuracy rating on those trebuchet, I think, uh, a fair bit. I mean, when it comes to this quantity, it's still quite impressive, of course, but... And also, we're a lower level right now. Fives and fours. Okay, let's get one last volley up over here. There we go, and let's change our focus up to over here. Yeah, decent hits. These guys are kind of wipe, wiping out already. Hopefully within range in a moment. I could move up. These archers are heading towards us. Go ahead and... Spread our fire. Firing up there. Let's go. Good hits. Archers will be able to fire soon. Fire away, please. Oh, so beautiful when they unleash like that. Try and scare these guys off. <laughs> beautiful. One volley is all it took. Fire over here next. In come these shots. Cavalry up. Let's go. Slow as it might be. These guys ready, I think. These guys should have been turtled up. And you went over here. And you over there. Let's go. Go. Pull you through. Good stuff. Uh, that's going to be bad for us. Okay, though, fire back over here. Here we go, rear charge over here. Over there. Archers fire up over here. Oh, I guess that wasn't bad for us at all. I guess we got a good, uh, good counter charge in there. Good rear charge over here. My god, the heavy cavalry. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> that one charge got so many kills for us. Alright, let's, uh, go ahead and pull through... Well, let's pull you over this way. Let's pull you back down this way. Again, we don't have to finish them off, really, because... Each battle. Hold your fire. Not get any friendly fire happening. Hold your fire as well. Uh, we could turn you around. Fire over here as he's trying to run away. Yeah, this, this this battle's over. Pull you back. Pull you through here. I really like how the uh, heavy cav looks. Like the 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 lighting in this game is just. <laughs> there are words. There are no words. I'm at a loss for words. It is gorgeous. All right, beautifully done. A decisive victory. They have paved. They paid the price, and they have paved the way to the river. Well, I got one more province to take, but you, you, you know what I'm getting at. You know what I'm getting at. Looks like we suffered a little bit of damage over here on this trebuchet. Just wasn't paying attention, I suppose, as I am prone to doing. As uh, I mean, Sir so way is prone to doing, of course. Hey, okay, lots of money made there as well. That's what's extra great, is we're making money off this stuff. Now, we can loot and occupy to get a big chunk of change there. Maybe not a bad idea. Reduce the settlement level, but uh, 
very well be worth it. Yeah, let's do it. Loot and occupy. We need the money. We want to get those horse pastures up north. And what is this? We have lost our relationship with Surma Du. Oh, okay. The, we've lost the negativity of that relationship. But we have become a rival with Surma Mao. Gee, I wonder why. They've got one more city down over here. Uh, excellent. That works out for me. Let's go ahead and repair you. No need to leave you damaged over there. And you have leveled up. Excellent. Let's go ahead and get some more cunning, I think, uh, just for the extra ammunition. Or... Or... Yeah, no, let's go ahead with the strategist there for the extra cunning. And then we can pull down to this for the extra range damage on the retinue. Uh, that just makes sense for me. Or to me. And for me, actually. Both. All right, cool. That's done. We wait a turn. We head down there. I think this is definitely the smarter way to do it. Might as well conquer en route, right? Good replenishment on that trebuchet as well. It won't take too long. Down over here, a little worried that they'll manage to take some of these settlements over here. It looks like they're actually pulling back. It would maybe have been wise to stay garrisoned and actually fight them. I don't want to tell them to do it because they might chase it on their own and then end up suffering. So let's leave it be, I suppose. Not much I can do over there. And let's go ahead and continue making our way up north this way. If I can get the horse pastures and the animal tamer, I'd be happy. Couple turns. I could up the tax rates a little bit. But next turn we get another one. No, this only takes us to 31. At the cost of what? Oh, wow. Yeah, maybe let's leave it at, uh, at this. Nanyang is looking like trouble. I mean, I'm definitely glad I can cancel taxes. That faction support's hurting us, but... This isn't helping us either. We could demolish this. Helping with our income, but... Paying a hefty price in, uh, in satisfaction. I mean, what I can always do is give them tax exemption when it comes to close to a rebellion. Keep making money in the meanwhile. I've done that in the past and it's worked quite well for us. Now, Runan as well. Let's go ahead and I guess I forgot to repair these. Whoops. I was thinking about that between sessions. I must have, must have slipped my mind. It was pointed out that I should repair the iron mine, but we did do that last session. Um, so that's fine there. It is a big chunk of change. I'm wondering if we... See, I wonder if we replace this county office with something that bumps up our industry income. Because sure, this reduces corruption, but that's not that much of a problem right now. Um, it'll be a bigger problem down the line, but it's the public order thing that I'm kind of worried about. And instead, if we go ahead and get something like, uh, you know, these private workshops or mm, the state workshops as well, just direct industry income, and then we can... Uh, get something, get a third building that collectively increases industry income. We've got the corruption reduction available here as well. This feels like a better call to me. So let's go ahead and actually demolish this. I will right, get the money off of it, and then next turn we'll we'll try and get the state workshops happening. I feel like that's a good way to, to, to take Runan. To, to progress with Runan, I suppose. I believe we can take a look at our reforms now, and I think what we'll go with is the Scoured Earth. Not only does it give us uh, the Saber Cavalry, which I don't know if we'll be really using, if I'm honest. I don't think we'll have the, the chance to before we get past them, uh, but more importantly, it gives us the looting income bumps. So let's go ahead and research that. It'll take five turns to get there. Uh, up north over here, have we already? Yes, we have. Down over here, we're all done and ready to roll. Ah, oh, man. How do I spec you? I guess I'll wait until we have a uh, administrator available. Okay, we're almost at the prince ranking. Hey, okay, see what the AI does. Ooh. They won't. What? No, I don't need military access from you. Get lost. <laughs> yeah, so be it. Those proposals, wasting my time kill them next. Oh, uh, here they come. So they're, they're going up the river. I wouldn't be surprised if they're headed right towards me, because why attack 
the people they actually declared war on when they could attack me instead and cause me trouble. Does that make sense? Ooh. Okay, interesting. Fair enough. Fair enough. And another coalition has formed. All right. What could we do here? What could we do here? This is the weapon craftsman. Mm, not, not the best garrison. We could try to upgrade this. Get a slightly better garrison. This is a full army, though. That's a, that's a fair number of troops. We are able to get in over here. Take that city and move back up in. Uh, I doubt peace is an option. Ooh, they just want money. Okay. Okay, that's an option. They might make it up to here next turn. I'm going to go ahead and tell these guys to move towards Hangxin just so that maybe they'll make a move down south and that'll drag these guys down south. I just gotta buy time. If I can buy time, then I don't have to negotiate a piece. Otherwise, I do. I'd really rather not. Really rather not. Okay, I'm trying to figure out now how we should uh, spend our next little bit of money. If we get this going, that's 100 income from industry. Or we could do this. Which is 50 from industry and 30 from commerce. But we do have the income from commerce bump over here. And the 15% over here. So probably upgrading the jade mine to a jade craftsman is the better call. I'm torn between doing that and... Uh, oh no. See, they're, they're making their way towards those horse pastures. They're gonna beat us to it, aren't they? They're mine, damn it. These are mine. Well, I can move it. Hold on, you know what? Let's see what this battle does for us. If we can take this city, we should be able to make enough money to take that those horse pastures and maybe actually have money left over to do something else. Let's move down as quickly as possible. We should be able to attack right away. We've got the trebuchet and everything. A Pyrrhic victory is predicted. Hmm. A surprising assessment. They won't surrender. We'll kill them all. Alright. This should not be too much of a struggle. Let's make sure we avoid towers whenever possible. It's quite unfortunate that it's one of these... Well, unfortunate, but it'll be interesting that we've got this sort of bridge we have to go past. A couple towers protecting the town center, but I think that direction is as good as any other. Holy crap. <laughs> they really want to protect this corner, don't they? Alright, fair enough. We stay on this side. We stay on this side. Punch some holes through the walls over here, perhaps. We've got this tower, this tower, this tower. Oh, no, we actually don't have to worry about this one. It is facing the... Oh, no. We do. Yeah. The one, two, three. And four-ish. Four-ish. But one, two, and three for sure. So, here's what we'll do. Get everybody back here first. Let's go ahead and get our trebuchet lined up to shoot down these wall sections, because we'll push through there. And so let's get you all lined up over here like so. Fire away, get some holes, destroy whatever enemy uh, troops might be standing there. And in the meanwhile, our archers will, in loose formation, creep up over here, take out that tower. And you will, in loose formation, creep up over here and take out both of these. Right? They'll still be grouped together, though. Okay. Oop, no. Regular shots for you. All right. So that's that. Easy enough. Back over here, our heavy cav will send through, as soon as there's an opening, will send through to cause some trouble. I do want to shut down those towers back there as well, so we will take some risks with our archers later on. Uh, and let's go ahead and get our spears boxed up like so. Might as well set you up over here. Right? They'll go in after the holes have been made, and then we'll go ahead and get you guys right behind, marching up as well. Yep, and get you to follow up behind. I doubt we'll use all of these numbers, but uh, I just want to have them deployed in an appropriate fashion. Let's get you guys over here as well. Let's get you up over here, of course. Watching over our troops. Supporting from a distance. Get you guys grouped up. All right. 
Should be good, should be easy. I imagine. That's what I imagine. Alright, let's begin. Go ahead and fire at this wall section. Get you firing at this wall section. There we go. Should be able to break uh, a wider segment like that. And then let's get you two moving up. And you two up there first. Oh. I need you to hit a bit more accurately. That was pretty bad, actually. That was really bad. Okay. Archers are moving forward. Getting ready to fire. Those wall sections are still standing. Crazy. But these archers took a fair bit of hurt, I think. There we go. Good volley over here. Job complete. Pull you back. Turn you around. Fire up over there. I'm pretty sure this is already being set alight. Yep. Come on, come on, come on. Hurry it up. Be like one volley, maybe two at most. There we go. Nice. Be back. Alright, good stuff. Wall sections have fallen, and there's that middle section dropping as well. So that means we can now fire freely. Um, enemy forces. Now the question is, what do we want to hit? Get you firing over here. Let's get you firing over there. Both of you using flaming shots, please. Give me some good hits. Nice. That task nicely, I suppose. Good work over there. Okay, alright, not so good. You're coming through. Ah, oh, damn. <laughs> A little disappointing. Okay, though. Okay, once these towers get destroyed, there's one down. These will be down soon as well. Once that's all done, our archers will move forward to try uh, and fire at their archers, eliminate them. And then we can start focusing on those towers, perhaps. They don't have too many spears that I have to worry about with my heavy cav. I'm just worried about the archers. Come on. God damn it, this is already destroyed. Firing back there instead. They do have more units back there as well. Just gotta keep that in mind. Taking like no damage here. Okay, this is almost done does have range over here, so I don't want to move forward until I've taken care of it. You're almost to light. There we go. A little bit of damage being done. <laughs> Just keep missing. Just keep missing. Alright, got some more hits in there, sure. This is almost down? Yeah, almost. Like, those are some really wide shots. Sorry, I'm gonna stop- I'm gonna stop complaining about how wide those shots are. I probably couldn't aim one better, right? There we go. Okay, 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 okay. That was good. Oh, just a whisker. Yeah, once this is destroyed, the archers will move forward. So, maybe like another 10 seconds, 20 seconds at most. Nope, down it goes. Here we go. Alright, archers. Get you... Get the two of you moving up first. Over there. Try and scare them off so our cavalry has a clear path. 80%. 31%. Did you stop? Did you stop as well? Alright. Now the question becomes, what do we fire upon next? Got some archers back there making their way over. These guys are going to stand steady over there. Fair enough. These will go down. Let's go ahead and reduce... You. Okay, are we ready to fire? There we go. Good hits up there. You guys are taking a touch of damage. Taking a bit of damage up there. That's been destroyed as well, so let's go ahead and send you up over here. Oh. I suffer a lot of losses, I think. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Draw their attention. Okay, they're all falling back. Probably over here where they're nicely clumped up. I am able to send my cavalry in now. Still kind of risky. Let's go ahead and push up to here first. Good clump to hit here. Come on. Nice. Very nice. Less nice, but still, I'll take it. They okay, were firing away. They're wasting their 
arrows. We've taken a touch of hurt, but it's not the end of the world. Time to move through, I think. Oh. They're out of ammunition over there, so they're basically done. That They're taken care of. These guys are done as well. Let's go ahead and turn up there. That was the last shot. Completely flubbed. Alright. Pull up like so. Calvary's pushing through. We're going to devastate this Axe Band unit. Get him to wedge formation. Okay. Move our champion over. Side. Head towards those archers. Dangerous, but we'll be fine. In we go. Nicely done. Send you up that way as well. Archers are able to fire at the spear guard. Try and scare them off that way. Charges over here. Go ahead and pull you... No reason to pull you anywhere. Okay, good stuff. Send our infantry up, I suppose. Not no real point, but... Nice to pretend, I suppose. Let's go ahead and keep firing up there. Run these guys down. Yes, excellent. Okay, good stuff. I do believe there are some towers over here. Thing to be wary of. So let's pull... Up and around. Go. Oh. You to charge over here. You to charge over here as well. Firing up there, please. Barely a charge. Firing up there, I said. Hey, okay, good stuff. You're coming up and around this way. I love the high arcs. It's. God damn, they got so much right with this game. The feeling, in, in terms of feeling. Pull you over that way. Get you up over here, I think. Oh, hello. No, coward. You coward. In we go. Okay, don't want to stay stuck in here for too long, but in comes this rear charge. Or side charge, I suppose their champion too, so that should help. Hold fire with our archers. Go ahead and pull some our way over this way. Maybe we'll get a clean charge. Uh, okay, charge. Go ahead and pull you back. Get a more powerful charge in. I, I guess we can destroy this barricade. Yeah, they're gonna give up on the fight. Don't really stand much of a chance. Go ahead and fire back over here. You're gonna chase me, really. Okay, fine by me. Pull back and try and get this little side charge. Oh, of course, you coward. You coward. Yeah, they're gonna give up. Not much fight left in them. One last round of flaming shots, I think, will do the trick. Yep, and victory is ours? No. Oh, do they still have a unit back over here? Yes, those spears. Fair enough. Not a problem. Is this barricade? No, it's not almost taken care of. Come on, let's go. Move up to here, actually. <laughs> there we go, okay. I was like, am I really gonna have to deal with this? Nah, because I gotta, gotta take care of those towers. Nah, decisive victory. They knew what was coming for them. You could hear the screams from a distance. That went pretty well. Archers took some hits over here, but we knew that was going to happen. Hence the setup. But, uh, yeah, there we go. We've, we've, uh, we've made our own way to the river. Alright, done. Fair bit of money made there. Some fury, and I wonder if 250, not nearly enough. Loot and occupy, definitely what we want to do here. There we go. So my mouth has been succeeded, but that only lasted so long because the faction has been destroyed. This faction is no more, leaving one less warrior on the battlefield of history. They may be remembered, or their very name may be consigned to oblivion. I assure you, it'll be consigned to oblivion. We've leveled up over here with Sir Uh What shall we get? Block chance for melee cavalry. Not a bad idea. Extra battle running speed. Really sounds like a good call. Actually, reach. 
as much as I'd love to get, you know, the charge bonus or the speed, uh, reach right now will help me get to where I need to get to faster. So let's go ahead with reach, bump our instinct as well. Okay. Good. Yeah, happy with that call for sure. Uh, now, do we really have to waste a turn here? I suppose so. I suppose so, but we'll make our way over quickly. Yeah, look, we look like a horse. More like a llama, I suppose, but kind of like a horse. All right, with the money we have made, let's go ahead and add to the top of this llama's head. Take these horse pastures. Thank you very much. Ooh. As war grows, lines are drawn as everyone chooses a side. A warrior has come to you, promising their sword in service to your cause. They have heard your call to arms and will gladly fight in your name. Good for you. Good for you. Glad these horse pastures are ours. Reduces the recruitment cost for cavalry, reduces upkeep for cavalry units, faction-wide, and bumps our prestige. A worthwhile expense, um, hopefully. And, uh, yeah, I mean, money's looking kind of tight, but, you know, we'll be fine. We'll, we'll, we'll be fine. We'll be okay. Public order here isn't the greatest. But at least it's stagnant. And at least we blocked the uh, Din Empire there. Now, getting to the Animal Tamer first is probably not going to be possible. And getting the 8,000 required to actually get Shou Fang properly is probably also impossible. Alright. Good turn, though, I think. We can call it over there. Hit that end turn button. See what the AI does. Uh, hopefully, again, these guys get baited down south. Otherwise, I will have to sue for peace. I don't want to just lose my weapon craftsman uh, just like that. Honestly, having Vassal sometimes feels like a worse deal than not. Also, maybe I'm kind of regretting... The Empire's right there. I mean, the, the Luoyang is right there. No, no, we're role-playing. We're supposed to be loyal to the Empress at the beginning. That's, uh, that's the Soma Wei Wei. I believe that's the turn. Yep. Oh, non-aggression pack with Soma Lun. They will pay us quite a bit, actually. I wonder if I wouldn't mind taking that one-time payment and make some long-term investments with it. Soma Lun is up over there. Uh, you know what? Fair enough. We'll go ahead and accept this. They are not a bother for us right now. That's a fair sum of money. Uh, hold on. Let's go ahead and negotiate this and try to just... Ah, fine. I'll accept it. Not going to negotiate a per turn agreement, only because right now, what I'm thinking is if I get money right now, I might be able to get the uh, Animal Tamer, or I might be able to invest in something else that will give me long-term gains. Stay, stay away. <laughs> That's mine. God damn it. Oh my ying. Wait a second, didn't I? Oh my ying. So my ying. Where are you? Oh god damn, it's you. Oh. Sir Chang has been really kind of a problem. And they don't like me. Why don't you like me? Personal rivalry, annex the vassal, strategic threat. You know what? One enemy? Okay. Two enemies? Alright. Three enemies and talking smack? I just... That makes me angry. That makes me really angry. Oh, deal's broken. This is like... What am I gonna do? This is, this is my life. This is my life. I will cut you up in little pieces. We might as well get peace with these guys. Because they're coming towards us. Looks like, at least. Ooh. So, my uh, Dian has declared war on us. Fair enough. Uh, we can call for aid. Hopefully, they'll join us. Hopefully. Alright. Let's see. This is fine. Fair enough. Liberated. Sure, that's one way to put it. Oh, wow. Joining a coalition just like that, eh? So, uh, Tian, where are you? Hard to keep a track. So, uh, Tian. Where are you? Oh, I guess I'll find out when you show up on my borders. Okay, fair enough. Okay, at least the Jin Empire joined me. Fair enough. Now, are you able to attack us next turn? I think you are, aren't you? No, you're just short of it. Okay, fair enough. So that still gives us some time. But first, let me just quickly check. The map.
So much yeah. Up over here somewhere, or is this just because I don't know where you actually are? Memorizing this map is not, uh... <laughs> it's not been going well for me. Fair enough, you know what? It's okay. It's okay. Not the end of the world. We'll find them eventually. What I'm more concerned about right now is rushing to the defense of my... Front over here. Get pretty far along through the river. Ooh. We can get right up to there. I love these riverways. Alright, but, of course, going that way will give us some trouble over here. Uh, let's go ahead and get these repaired. Right, just to get the uh, little bit of money that it'll get us. Public order will be dropping because the faction support devastation at least will be gone. Um, the garrison will be gone as well, though. That's the nine bump that we're going to lose. Fair enough. Yeah, we can get down there, no problem. Again, some small problems over here, some small bits of trouble. But, uh, yeah, see, we're solving it. We're solving it. Should we go ahead and get the uh, state workshop set up over here? I think so. My other option is to save all of that and pretend that I can beat um, the Jin Empire towards on their way towards the uh, Animal Tamer over here. This is quite unfortunate. We've got the horse pastures over here as well. We'll eventually go to war with them, of course. But I suppose we've uh, extended as far as we can because they're going to get to the Animal Tamer next turn. It would take us two turns and, and God knows how many turns to actually make the money, so fine. No, we like cut your losses, right? No, no, when you've been. I don't want to say beat, but you know what I mean. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and push on up. Just barely get there. We can probably make landfall, actually. Get on up to there. Oh, this has worked perfectly. This has worked perfectly. Through the river we go, and we should be able to make landfall. I believe we are. Come on. Ah, no. Yeah, I guess not. A little too far away. It's okay, because they got to make landfall, and uh, and then we can chase after them. They might attack us here, which would be quite unfortunate. I hate auto-resolving battles, but we are a superior force, so I doubt they'll try it. Uh, and even if they do, we should, we'll should, we probably win. All right, good stuff. That worked out well enough. Uh, over here, I wonder if we recall this army, because there's no point leaving you just running around, not really accomplishing anything. Uh, I could... Keeping the garrison here will just help with uh, public order a little bit. But keeping this army out there is costing us not a lot, but still a waste. And our court as well is maybe a little bloated. We should maybe get rid of some of the people over here. Like, Tianyan, I like having another uh another vanguard but really worth it yun wen as well i mean we we're the only commander we have but there's definitely some cleaning up i can do in the court to save us a fair bit of money like if we can save 300 if we can get this up to like 500 a turn that's actually substantial target can't of course it's canceled but yeah if we can get it up to 500 a turn it would be pretty substantial not at war are we they just don't like us. Hmm. Trying to figure out how comfortable I feel about a current situation. Just having the one army out. Because, again, we have peace to the north, more or less. If I come down over here and I eliminate this army, we can take one, two, three pieces of territory with relative ease. Four, even. Relatively easily. Uh, and then come back up north to take the salt mine the tool maker and the large town over here. That salt mine could make us a fair bit of money. Um, salt mines are good to have. I definitely want to get my finances in order. Over here as well, Shema Ying will probably go to war with sooner rather than later. No need to keep them standing. They've got a tool maker and a salt mine as well. I'm trying to pick my targets based on my current needs. What I currently need is money. Yeah, public order is on the rise over here. Still on the drop over here. We might need to give them tax exemption soon, just for a turn. We've got the money to float it, so that's good. See, if I demolish this building, public order will not be a problem anymore. Something to consider. Something to consider. Nonetheless, folks, I leave these questions 
to you as my counsel in the YouTube comments. This is what we're going to call it a session. Uh, this was a qu quite a good session. I think we did actually manage to cut through and get to the river doing exactly as planned. That always feels good when a plan works out. Usually they never survive first contact with the enemy. Uh, granted, we... We made a new enemy to, to make that plan work, but hey, it is what it is. Hope you guys enjoyed this session. If you did, you know what to do. Leave a like and a comment down below. It makes a very big difference in how I approach content on the channel. A massive thanks, as always, goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. You keep us alive and running smoothly. And a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, cheers.